Is the British government going to destroy 15 million bees? Hello, I'm Griff Rees. Welcome to Gwyn and Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living. Now we do reviews as well. Now, this week, we're in February, first week of February. My social media account blew up. Everybody was talking about 15 million bees are going to get destroyed or burnt at the border going into Britain. It's been a big talking point right across social media. A lot of people, I don't think, understand what the situation is and why that has happened. So today, something brand new to the channel. I'm going to dissect the article that you may have seen. People like the Independent, Guardian, the BBC, they've all covered it. It's been big news this week. And I just want to go deep down, break into this article and explain to you what's happening for you to totally understand what's behind this news because a lot of this news is clickbaity stuff 50 million bees are going to get destroyed everybody's up in arms etc but there's a lot more to the story and i want to talk about it here this is the first time i'm doing something like this but it may be something we'll do uh, moving forward if there's a big bee news related article that we want to dissect and go into dive in a little bit deeper look into it i may do that so if you like this video make sure you subscribe so you're notified of when new videos are uploaded so since this is a news video i probably should get some news music on here and start shuffling the papers away today at winning griff news Anyway, so here's the article. I've printed it off. Let's look into it. So I'll read this out quick just in case you're not from the UK and you're interested in this news for you to get the gist of this uh, article. So a delivery of 15 million baby bees to the UK could be sent back or destroyed because of post-Brexit laws. The man trying to report them has said. Patrick wants to import the Italian bees for his business and to help farmers pollinate crops. New laws which have come into effect after the UK left the single market in January say only queen bees can be imported into Great Britain. However, confusion remains regarding imports from Northern Ireland. A spokesman for the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, which is DEFRA, said it will provide guidance to bee importers and bee keepers as soon as possible. Mr Muffet, who is the managing director of bee equipment based near Kent, said, It's a monumentally stupid situation for a country supposed to be standing on its own two feet and exporting around the world. Every year, Mr. Muffet imports a large number of bees from Italy, where the climate is much warmer. In an effort to avoid the import ban and abide by the new laws, he has arranged for the bees to arrive via Northern Ireland in April, but said he has been told they may be destroyed if he tries. He said in his inquiries into the reasoning behind the ban have been met with a wall of silence except one email reading illegal imports will be sent back or destroyed. Enforcement action criminal charges will be brought against the importer. DEFRA said it is aware of the issue and is working with the devolved administrations to find a solution. It is the responsibility of the importer to ensure that goods dispatched from Northern Ireland meet the definition of NI Northern Ireland qualifying goods or meets imports requirements, they added. Mr Muffet has paid £20,000 deposit for the bees 
and stands to lose nearly £100,000 in costs if he cannot bring them into the country. So, a lot of things to look into there. We're talking big numbers, large um, amount of money and a large amount of bees. So, let's look at the first thing that caught my eye on this article is 15 million baby bees. Now, I saw on social media everybody saying, oh, these reporters, they haven't got the clue. There's no such thing as baby bees. And you're right. There is no such thing as baby bees, but there are young bees. Now, what the reporter here has tried to do is hit the emotional cards. So by saying 50 million baby bees may be destroyed sounds a lot worse than 15 million bees. So they're just trying to play there on your emotional card. That's the clickbaity uh, thing that you, we kind of see now in news reports, articles, etc. They start off with a catchy first sentence, get the click, get you in there to read the article. So nothing really important there apart from the word baby bees. They're just trying to play the emotional card and get this news or this article be viewed by more and more people, not just within the beekeeping world, but right across uh, all sectors of uh, news readers. So, we're talking specifically here about packages of bees being imported into Great Britain. Now, since we left the EU, uh, Brexit has happened. And now, there's a lot of new rules and regulations which people have got to abide with, and it's still all new. Um, things have not gone really smoothly across all sectors. Uh, especially when you're talking live animal imports, exports, that is still a tricky situation which a lot of people, including myself, don't really know the, the full legalities of the law there. So this is where this confusion is coming in. Bee Equipment wants to import uh, packages of bees. So they're saying 15 million bees. So let's look at how many bees we're talking here or how many colonies. So 15 million bees, there's roughly 10,000 bees in every package. So that equates to roughly 1,500 packages coming in on the order if the 15 million bees is true. I don't know if these figures are 100%. I can only go off what is public knowledge and what's in this article. So the figures that I'm, I'm giving you now is purely based on this article. I've got no uh, idea if these figures are true it's just i've worked the sums out of the numbers in the article so don't hold me account for the numbers here so 1500 colonies of packages coming in to the uk so with that let's look at the numbers so i've had a look on b equipment's website they are roughly selling the packages out at anything between 110 to 150 pounds each depending how many bees or how many packages you buy so on the 150,000 we're talking 225,000 pounds worth of money at the 110 pound per colony we're looking at 165,000 pounds uh, worth of money so let's hit that in the middle we're roughly talking 200,000 pounds worth of bees here that bee equipment uh, want to bring into the country. Now, that is big numbers. This is big business. This is uh, a serious importer. This isn't a small delivery of bees coming in. This is uh, a big uh, delivery of bees, and I think that's why it's obviously made uh, mainstream news. So, up until Brexit, this could happen legally, no problem. There were several importers in the UK bringing packages into the UK uh, with zero problems. That has been going on for years. Now, Brexit has put a stop to there. I think every importer that I'm aware of has said this year they're not going to attempt to bring uh, packages in, but B equipment, they think uh, that there is a grey area in the legislation and they, that they can legally bring bees through Northern Ireland. Now, the question is, are you allowed to send the bees to Northern Ireland and then directly over into the rest of the UK? Or do the bees 
the packages need to hit Northern Ireland, get transferred into nukes in Northern Ireland. So it is a Northern Ireland beehive and then that being brought in to the rest of the UK. Uh, I'm not sure how they're going to do that. I would have thought that the only way around this is to do it like that. Um, if you're going to bring the package directly over in package form through Northern Ireland, then that is not a Northern Ireland uh, package. It's not a Northern Ireland product. Therefore, I would have thought that package would not be able to get into the rest of the UK. But I think there is a grey area there from the basic knowledge that I've got researching this story that if the package does get converted into a nuke in Northern Ireland, does that now classify as a Northern Ireland nuke? They do this uh, in the food industry, which is wrong. Uh, so say, for example, if uh, a Welsh bull gets sent out of Wales into Scotland, gets killed in Scotland, then that then is stamped with Scottish beef on it and vice versa if something from Scotland or England were to go into Wales gets killed in Wales they could stamp that with Welsh beef now I don't agree with that I think that's wrong but this may be the loophole be equipment think that legally is there for them to use I'm not saying that's right or wrong on behalf on their behalf it just may be the law and they found a way around it and there could be a loophole there. And that would explain why the spokesman in DEFRA said that they're going to get back to importers and beekeepers as soon as possible because I don't think they quite know uh, yet. And this is where the whole story comes in. Why did this make the news? And it's simple. Bee equipment is a big business in the UK. They've got uh, a successful bee equipment business. They sell beehives and equipment they also sell queens nukes and bees now they are making this story hot so they're putting it in the news uh it's been sent out to everyone this is putting pressure now on the government and defra to force them to come up with an answer to be equipment to tell them yes you can do that or no you can't do that so i'm guessing they're getting frustrated they're not getting the answer that they want they've obviously paid twenty thousand pound deposit to get the bees over here and they don't know yet whether that they are able to they think they can the government technically is saying that they can't but they haven't confirmed that according to this article so that's the story. So the government isn't just going out there wanting to kill 15 million bees. There is a commercial decision, uh, a business decision behind this article. Um, a business has decided that they want to bring uh, bees into the country, packages of bees into the country. They're not quite sure that they are allowed to. So they're bringing this, uh, the, the making this news hot putting it out there for it to get as much attention that it possibly can to put pressure on the government for them to give them a clear yes or no. Depending who you talk to, some people think that the government has already given a clear yes or no on the matter. But like I mentioned, if you transfer the packages into nukes in Northern Ireland, does that create a loophole? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Are these bees going to get into the UK or are they going to be destroyed or sent back at the border? I'd love to hear your views on the subject. Either way, one thing is certain, I would not want to be bee equipment right now. They have put themselves right out there, right in the firing line and it's either going to end really bad for them or they're going to be able to bring the bees in and they're going to be the only importer in the UK this year and it might work out well for them. Who knows? Either way, I would not want to be them right now. Now, if you were to ask me, do I think are these bees going to get into the UK? I wouldn't want to give an answer on it. Uh, the government now is under pressure. Uh, their hand is going to be forced pretty quick on the subject. Um, and if 
B equipment does uh, try to bring bees into the, into the UK, um, what I would have thought they would do, I don't think they'd want to send the 15 million bees in one go. I think they'd want to send 10 to 20 packages uh, in one delivery. Tell the government that it is coming to see if that does go through uh, to reduce the risk. But either way, um, you're risking uh, the lives of bees and packages here. This is seriously risky business and it could backfire massively on bee equipment. If these bees do get destroyed at the border, there's going to be a lot of angry people out there that bee equipment allowed these bees to die. Because it's not a government decision. This is purely bee equipment's decision. They are taking a risk here. Whether it plays out uh, in their hand or against them, that is yet to find out. But I think every beekeeper in the UK is going to be keeping a close eye on this developing news. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This is the first of the Bee News uh, series. Uh, like I said, we might do more of these news breaking down uh, bee-related news for you to get the full picture because it's very hard these days to get the full picture out of an article. There's always a hidden agenda somewhere and uh, hopefully I've explained this story well enough for you to understand what's going on. And don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload new videos every week. Thanks for watching.